Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you some pickups I got from, of all places, my local grocery store. Uh, so I got some PS3 items and some PS Vita items. Um, so I'll just go ahead and lay these out. So they had HDMI cables. So I went ahead and I was like, wow, how do you guys have new old stock? Because these were not here in the previous week. I go to the same grocery store every single week with my wife and my boys. And I just couldn't, couldn't figure out how, where this came from. So this must have been sitting in their stock room or somewhere, but it's new old stock. Uh, HDMI cable, six and a half feet. It's it's made by Sony, PlayStation official product. Um, and these were a dollar fourteen Canadian each. So basically like ten cents American. Well, not n not really, but the Canadian dollar is just not that great right now. Um, but a dollar fourteen Canadian nonetheless is excellent. You can go to your local Dollarama in Canada um, or your dollar store and not find anything even close, even remotely close to the quality of these HDMI cables. I have the PlayStation um, 3D television. It was a Sony PlayStation television, 240 hertz, so on and so forth. Um, and it came with one of these. Now, I believe it was a little longer, six and a half feet, but... I know being an official Sony product that these will be high quality, especially for $1.14. I, ju I just couldn't believe it. So I ended up with six of the HDMI cables. I cleared the shelf because you can't have enough HDMI cables laying around. Um, and, you know, the PlayStation Classic Edition I pre-ordered, but who knows, they might include nothing because it seems like they don't want to do the AC adapter, so maybe they won't include HDMI cables. But I'm not going to trip Sony because, hey, I still gave them my money for pre-ordering. <laughs> I guess I could cancel. Uh, they only had one of these. This is the AC adapter for PlayStation, and basically what this does is you can charge your PS3 controller, your wireless keypad, or your Bluetooth headset. So I picked this up because on the back, it says that it can charge the PSP 2000-3000 series. This was $1.47. So $1.47 Canadian. I picked that up because my son does have a PSP 2000. So I thought, why not have an extra licensed Sony charger um, brand new in the package. And this is new old stock as I mentioned. I don't know where they came up, came up with it or why it was sitting on the shelf when it was because it's about 10 years old. Uh, but I have it and it's brand new and you know for $1.47 I'm not complaining whatsoever. Uh, I also got for the PS3 and I'll get to the Vita stuff at the end. There's just a few items for the Vita. Um, now I got 3D glasses. These were $1.14 a pair. Um, I have two pairs of these already, but I thought, you know what, I have the 3D PS, uh, PlayStation television, so why not get some more extra glasses, just in case, especially having two kids, you never know. Plus, I'm a big fan of playing God of War in 3D, um, I'm not a big fan of gaming in 3D per se, but playing God of War in 3D is a really cool experience. If you've never tried it, and you have the opportunity, I would say go ahead and check that out. Um, so I got these for a buck 14 each and I'm not complaining whatsoever. Uh, next I got the PS3 um, Move charging station. So I grabbed the charging station that they only had the one. Now this was I believe three dollars and 47 cents. It's got some heft to it. I mean it's it's just a charging station, but the PS Move controllers, from what I've seen, a lot of the pawn shops and secondhand stores and video game stores, they can't even give these controllers away. Um, now, I want these controllers for basically only one reason, and that's I want to figure out if I can get these to work um, uh, with MAME or something akin to that on PC so that I can emulate a light gun with these move controllers. I have the Dolphin Bar uh, with with re, with uh, Wii controllers. Now with MAME, I find it's jittery. It never really works that well. And I, I've done a little bit of research, but not too much about getting these to work with MAME uh, and be better than, than a Wii remote and a Dolphin Bar. So 
it's something to try out and like I said this is like the charging station itself I probably didn't need it for the move but you know what even when I get the controllers I only paid $3.47 for an official Sony charger so I'm not complaining about that whatsoever um, next up and what made me buy the charger was I got these move light gun attachments so and again official sony products and that's why i grabbed i grabbed everything officially sony i grabbed it um i couldn't complain now these were a dollar 14 so a dollar 14 they've got some heft to them now it could just be packaging but they feel they feel pretty hefty um if you guys see my previous video i do have a wii remote um light gun attachment as well uh, but i went with these just in case i can figure out how to get it working on pc then I'll go ahead and do that. But for now, I mean, I have them. And for $1.14, hey, $2.28 Canadian. I spend more than that on, I don't know, pack of gum almost. So not complaining about the price of those. Um, so that's all the PlayStation 3 stuff I got. I got a couple of items for the PS Vita. And basically I grabbed, it's just a your car adapter for your PS Vita. I do not own a PS Vita, but I may find one, come across one, whether it be Kijiji, Craigslist, um, you know, pawn shop, whatever. Uh, but the main reason why I grab these is my wife's vehicle is a is has TVs uh, for the rear, and my sons watch the television, and I I want to put a Raspberry Pi in there, probably a Pi Zero. So I bought these because hopefully we can focus there we go so 1.5 amps so 1.5 amps would be perfect for the for the pi zero uh, or the pi zero w whichever i choose to put in um, and it's going to work by charging from the car or powered by the car i say it's not charging uh, so my sons can enjoy um, playing the retro games and myself included if i want to sit back there with them uh, we could play games together and we could play with the Pi Zero. And to be quite honest, for a dollar fourteen, I couldn't pass it up, especially when it's a, like I said, a licensed Sony product. Uh, last but not least, and again, I do not own a Vita, but I did grab this starter kit with memory card. So at first, I'm like twenty five percent off. I wonder if they're actually going to to uh, give me the rebate because this was a dollar 47 um, and this is an official Sony PS Vita starter kit with memory card so basically you just get like a card case and it, it's got PS Vita engraved on it but you get some PS Vita earbuds you get a soft case for your PS Vita and then you get a four gigabyte Sony memory card so four gigs is not big right but a dollar fourteen. It was either dollar fourteen or dollar forty-seven. I can't remember for this particular item, but it was twenty-five percent off of that price, and they they let me have the twenty-five percent off. Um, so, I mean, you're getting you're getting the pocket pouch, the headphones, and you can see. Oh, it also has like a screen protector is included in there, protective film, you get a cleaning cloth, the four gigabyte memory card, as well as a card case. So organize up to eight game cards and two memory cards. So that that's pretty cool. I haven't opened any of this yet, so I wasn't exactly sure what all came in here. I wanted to shoot the video for you guys. But I mean, for $1.14, $1.47, whichever it was, I, I with 25% off as well. I, I'm not complaining whatsoever. So, you know, just a quick recap for the end of the video. We've got the starter kit. We've got car adapters. Now these mean more to me for the Pi Zero than they do for the PS Vita. But if I ever get a PS Vita, my son could charge his in the car. Um, what else do we have? We have the light gun attachments. Just move these over. So we got the two light gun attachments, the 3D glasses for two pairs, the PS Move charger station, which I think is great because I can't wait to get the PS Move and start trying this out on PC. 
Um, the one AC adapter, which will charge my son's PSP 2000, so I'm really happy about that, especially for a buck 14 or a buck 47. I, everything was kind of mixed up. I just kind of looked at the bill and was like, I can't believe you guys are giving me for this price, and I ran out of the store. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like, again, this is new old stock, and I can't believe this is 10 year old items. Um, I can't believe that the, it was available uh, on the shelf at my local grocery store, and I wanted to shoot this video just to give you guys a heads up like you never know where you're gonna find gems uh i'm a huge uh i think my biggest collection would be my vhs collection i'm probably pushing 12 to 1500 vhs's i haven't counted them yet uh but when it comes to video game stuff i'm a huge video game person i really like video games obviously my channel is based around it uh, and I don't do that to appease anybody. I do that because that's my passion, and I want everyone to enjoy um, all the re all that retro gaming has to offer. Uh, but basically, this is just me showing you guys some pickups and trying to inform you that maybe if you're at your local grocery store and you see an electronics section, it doesn't hurt to just take a quick look and see what you can find. Now, none of these items had prices on the hooks they were on. I actually had to go to a price scanner. And the first thing I scanned was the 3D glasses. And they came up at $1.14. And so after that, I was like, well, wait a minute. These are there. So I did the HDMI cable, same thing. And then I'm like, well, wait a minute. There's a charging kit. And there's these light guns. And there's the AC adapter. And there's, you know, the PS Vita car adapter. And I just scanned them all. And once I scanned them all, I thought, you know what? It's time to load my cart. <laughs> um, you know... And I did leave uh, quite a few things behind. Now, the only thing I cleared out really was the three glasses was only two. They only had one of the charging stations. So what am I supposed to do? I couldn't leave anything for anybody else. But I did clear out the HDMI cables because they come in handy for everything. So I thought, why not have them laying around? Um, but that's pretty much it for this pickups video, guys. I just... You know, as I mentioned a couple times now, you just make sure you keep your eye out for those good deals. And uh, it's hard to find good deal these days. And I like to show people like, hey, this is where you can get a good deal. Because I'm all about the almighty dollar and how I can save it. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.